Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Greg Tech Community Edition Unofficial. Um, did want to basically go over with you guys. Apologize for not having an episode yesterday. Um, we did get the Nick Chrome stuff done, as well as I got myself some Tetra Fluorethylene made up. I should have it just over here. Oh, it's in a chest somewhere. We did get ourselves some of the newest plastic stuff made up. Is it in this chest? Other chest. I'm not sure where I put it. Um, however, I had issues with the audio. Went to do a voiceover recording with the audio, and then had issues with the full thing crashing, and... Yeah, well, I had, had some problems with that. So... We did get our Nick Chrome blocks up and running. I am currently making some more steel, because that is something that I need to make the large chemical, or not large chemical, what was it, implosion chamber? Yeah, the implosion chamber, where we need quite a bit of steel to get our implosion chamber set up. We also do need obsidian. I believe I already have the three obsidian I need. So, we'll let that continue processing. I will grab out all of the ashes here and just toss them over the edge. And we're going to come back over, plop those on in there, and let's take a look at this. So, for our implosion chamber, we're going to need one solid steel block, plus another 20 there. And then we just need the standard input, output, energy cable, a bunch of stuff that way. Now, we are going to want to look at what energy usage we need because that's going to dictate what cable we're going to need. It looks like we only need LV stuff for this. So let's check on the book really quick, see if it has any particular thing it tells us we should do with that. Uh, right here. So... So it does say the EV cables are in the recipe here, but they're not. So I guess that was an updated thing, so this, this needs to get updated in the book. So let's go ahead and look at getting this done. So we need ourselves a bunch of these. So we got 21 of those that we'll need. We might have some. We need an energy hatch. So we need a low voltage. Let's get a couple of these things off of here. And all of these things. I just don't have that yet. So we need that. We need a muffler hatch. We're going to need the input and output bus. We are going to need the low voltage versions of that LV bus. So we need the input, output, we need a maintenance hatch, and then we need an LV energy hatch. This one right there. That should be all of it. And let's go ahead and look in here. We should have some steel casings left over. Yeah, so we got two steel casings. We got a couple steel frames left over. So let's get those on out. That's going to give me an additional, what, eight there. So we'll have ten so far. Let's go ahead and get... We'll just get a full, a full stack. Plop that on in there. We'll set it to not auto output. Get our blocks out. Let's see if we can actually craft this already. I think I have. We are missing one circuit. Which I don't think I have any setup in here. Let's look at that. 
Uh, we just need the soldering alloy, which I know for a fact I finished making that up and getting it melted down. So let's go ahead and grab that in the extractor. And there we go. That'll get us another four of those. Oh, running out of power. Uh... So that means we need to grab this. It's a good thing we're not using this at the moment. So we got there. There. Screwdriver. Boop. All right. I'll get two more of those, since that's all we need there. These should be done. We got a couple there. Uh, we need our assembling machine. I believe it is six that we need. That'll get us more of the casing, so each craft does two. That's going straight into the system. We are going to need more of those rods whipped up, so I'm just going to do like... 16 of them for now. We need our lathe. Have that not auto go in there. And I want to not have that go auto input either. We need a couple of LVs as well. So we need one, two, three, four, five LV hatches. So we're going to need five LV machine casings, which means we're going to need actually a lot of this here so four would be 32 five would be 40 so let's see how much we got in here we got eight so that should be the full amount that we need for all of our machine casings so we're going to go ahead and grab out another That should be a, that should be enough to make the rest of the plates we need for the the bar stuff. So we'll go ahead and get that in there working while these continue. Let's go get the low voltage machine stuff. So we need our tin cable that's covered in tin. And so we need ten that and cover that in the rubber get that process through go ahead and give it a quick sleep here now I should be able to go on over here and grab out the rest of the processors I need dump those on in get ourselves our implosion compressor here there's that. Now, we are going to be short. That means that we are actually needing one more craft of this, I believe. So, where is... Six. There's that. Dump that in there. We will get these started into making... It should be like that should make our steel frames while those are going let's go ahead and get our machine casings whipped up we can get each of these things muffler hatch needs a bronze fluid pipe an LV electric motor and a tin rotor I don't know if I have all that stuff I don't think I have the bronze pipe or the rotor. I do have the LV motors still. So let's go look at this. So if we do the input, here we go. Output. Input, output. Maintenance hatch. We're missing our two tools that we have in here are crowbar and wire cutters. So 
Do a maintenance hatch. Cut out the crowbar. There's a few tools that we do use. We can clear that. LV energy hatch. So we're going to need two more tin cables and this low voltage thing. Do we have any iron magnetic rods? We have one iron magnetic rod. Then we need two steel turned into the wires that we need. Take those out. Increase that by two. Pop that all on in there. And we will complete with those. I guess we just gotta check here. What do we got? We got we need our tin rotor and we need bronze fluid pipe. I don't think we have enough bronze to make fluid pipe right off the bat. Yeah. So we're gonna need three plus one tin. So that should be our tin. And then we need four tin for the rotor. So there's the rest of those blocks that we need. We just gotta go get those two pieces and we'll have everything we need to make our implosion chamber. And we'll just have to get working on some TNT after that. It does say that you can use, um, what was the thing that you could use? Dynamite. So it says you can use TNT or dynamite. And TNT is some of this gelled tulene and sulfuric acid. Whereas I believe they said dynamite is much more of a pain in the ass to do. You need paper, string, and this thing. Yeah, so a, a string, this little mixture thing is going to be a pain to get to. Because I believe tooling. Let's go back to TNT. The tooling. You do need a mold, or you can just put sugar and polyethylene pulp in with the tooling to get a much higher yield, it looks like. It's a two to one yield. But the tooling is literally just you process in a distillery some. Uh, lightly cracked light fuel on a three so we can get that process to get enough to to make some of that stuff up and not have to worry about it too much so let's look at what was I waiting for I was waiting for something oh I know we were waiting for this. Oh, that's right. So we need to put this stuff away and get our pipe out. We were waiting to get this out. So we can make our pipe. Put that away. Sort that out. In the meantime... Let's go back on over here. Muffler hatch. Done. Ours, all of the blocks we need. Now we just gotta look up the multi-block structure here. So we got our input, output. I don't know if it has to be there. That's new. So we can apparently now share the inputs and outputs on the walls, which is actually pretty nice. That's something that's wasn't the case in the last update we were working on. So let's look at that one more time. It does have to be in the center there. So I am going to set it up right over here. So we're going to go one. Where's my energy input? Oh, that's right. We got to get that too. That was the other thing. So we should have our coil there. Um, 
that and that in there. Why is that not working? Circuit of one. And then we did need two more tin cables, that's right. So we have tin, two. Let's go make sure all of our machines auto import. So we, when we auto craft, we don't run into a problem where it doesn't auto import. Okay, come on over here. The recipe is as such. Should grab our cable cutters. that right there snip it like that three one two three I do want our maintenance hatch here in the back it's right there go ahead and put our muffler hatch right on top output I want on the right input I want on the left and we go one, two, one, two, one, two, three, two, three, four, five, and oh, that's cool. It actually shows us what we need now when we shift shift over it. So we got a pipe loose, so we need our wrench. We have screws loose, so we need a screwdriver. Something's stuck, so we need a soft mallet. Plating is dented, so we need a big, uh, heavier mallet. Uh, wire cutters and the crowbar. So let's go ahead and get that stuff taken care of. Click that. And it will tell us now we just need a hammer and a soft mallet, because something's stuck and the plating is dented. That honestly is kind of cool. That I didn't know... That might have been a... So... I lost my train of thought there. We got the implosion chamber. Uh, we now are mallets. I wonder if that's been a thing since the last one. I don't think it has because I have shifted before over the block. I think that is new again. But just got to grab those two tools out or put them back. Put them actually in our portable cell after since we do need them for maintenance. But now that that's all done, we should have it all working. So we got no issues. Distinct buses. No. Hmm. Didn't know what that is, but I'm sure there's something about that later. Anyways, now we need to start making our TNT. So let's get all of that off of our saved list over here. To make our TNT, we need this stuff. To make that one, we need to make the tool. The tooling was simple. So let's actually go take a nap. And then we will go down to our chemical reactor stuff. And get that. I think pro five processes should be enough to get what we need. No. We're going to need more than five. Uh, so that's going to be, what, 25 for a full bucket? So let's come down here. I want to... There it is. Is it been cracked? It's lightly cracked. Severely cracked is a three. So we want to go down to a three. Take this out. Put that in. And while this is running through its processes, and actually it's going to take even more because... Um, oh, I already emptied that out. Cool, we can actually move that now. Actually reuse those steel casings for another implosion chamber or something else in the future here. Kind of forgot that I emptied it out already. 
but yeah, we're getting ourselves some tooling. So I'm gonna give it just a second. We'll be right back once it's got a full bucket's worth. Maybe, so 30, I think we're gonna have to go to a full two buckets worth. I'm gonna grab the other things together to make the gelled stuff in the chemical reactor. All right, guys, we're back with the tooling that we needed. We got one full bucket. I'm just gonna have to grind down some sugar cane to get some sugar. I believe we can just put it in a macerator. Yep. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. We need nine of them, so it should be just take half of these, pop it on in there, let that start working through it, and we will go grab two up here, since we don't need this active right now. Boom. Boom. And screwdriver right there. Boom. Let that finish through its process. We do need our chemical reactor, so we're going to have to grab out. Can't grab that out. I'm a little low on vials to grab that stuff out. That should be enough to not have to worry about that. But in the chemical reactor, just gotta put a piece of polyethylene pulp and sugar in there to get our gelled tooling. Just got that nine more sugar here. All right, put our sugar in, pulp. We'll get our gelled tooling, and from there we just need four and a quarter bucket of hydro or sulfuric acid which is pretty easy to make and I think our best way is to just do the sulfur triox or yeah sulfur trioxide method that I've been doing just gotta go grab some water here one bucket should be plenty And we're just going to have to look up the ender pearl dust recipe, and we're actually just about there to being able to go towards the end. So we come over here, we got our sulfur trioxide. Let's get the oxygen out of here. Dump in our water right there. Go ahead and put the oxygen back in for now. Of our bucket. Come back on over. I don't know if it has to be. It can be done in an LV reactor. So we could have done it over there. But we're going to just do it right over here for now. And this will get us four pieces of TNT. So now we just got to look up our ender pearls. So we need that one. And we're going to need the dust. Apparently you can make ender eye dust. I think it's just pulverizing the thing down. That's what it looks like. So, we're going to need four dust and two TNT makes three. So we are actually going to need more of this gelled tooling. So we're going to actually want to hurry up and get back over here to let this continue processing what we actually need it to for now. It is going to take a second, so I'm going to go ahead and get... I think because it's LV, the most that I can have in these reactors. Yeah, 16. So I'm thinking we'll do this. Pull this out and go one and two. And that will give us quite a bit to get started there. Um, and we needed more water. So I have enough to make quite a few more buckets of the sulfuric acid. Just gonna need more of the tooling. So we're gonna get the sugar cane I've got in my inventory ground down for that as well. So let's go ahead and toss that in. Get on over here, this chemical reactor. Grab out the 
oxygen. Probably just go put that away for now. Five. So that'll get us five buckets of the sulfuric acid. So now if we come back over to our chemical reactor, we got four pieces of DNT. Let's look up the endocrine dust. To make it, we need potassium and beryllium and nitrogen. We actually got quite a bit of all of that. And we only really need to do two crafts of it. It looks mm, 20... I think it was 4 becomes 20, 3? Yeah. So that would mean it would give us 5 crafts. So yeah, that would that should be enough for now. Which means we are going to need more TNT. So we need 5 buckets of... nitrogen this is our oxygen so we'll dump the oxygen here where did i put the nitrogen for now i hope i didn't put it away in the system it should be just relatively close by right there so for the nitrogen we needed five so that's going to be one of these, and then one, two of these. Can't put that in there, so we'll do one, two of those. Okay. And then we need beryllium, which I know we have tons of that. We should have plenty of potassium around here, right there. Okay, let's grab our beryllium. That's not beryllium. That's not beryllium. Where'd it go? I hope that doesn't... Oh, there's some. So we just need two of those. Right? Yep. It does require an HV mixer, though, so that is something we're going to have to whip up while we wait for that cooling process. So let's look at this. Mixer, advanced mixer. So it looks like the we're missing only the things that we can actually craft up. So let's put that there. We need four tempered glass, a HV machine hole, one of these, and then the steel rod, a steel rotor. So let's go ahead and get in here. We'll get one of those, one of these crafted. Start that up. We need four pieces of steel to make the rotor. And then we need eight pieces of stainless steel, which should be that one. So, eight pieces of stainless steel to make the plates. Let's get that couple of this stuff in here, get this out of our inventory. Pump can go in there. Invar, probably also in the pulp. Put the iron dust away that way. Don't need those at the moment. And then for the HV cable, we're going to need some gold cables, which I don't think those are needed in the craft. No, so I can go ahead and pull those out just fine. And then we just need tempered glass, so let's grab out the glass. I think I can find it real quick. One, two, three, four. One too many. Put that on in here. We just need to go grab a bucket of oxygen to put in there. And let's go ahead and get these plates in the metal bender. And in the extruder, we need to put our fan blade. Dump the gold cable in there for when the plates are done. Go get this glass started. Oxygen goes in. Now, plates are done. Goes on in there. HV machine casing, our steel rotor, and the tempered glass should all be done. The rotor should be done as well by this point. 
So it should be able to come right on over. If not, is it, what is it? Oh, that's what it's missing. Now it should be done. And advanced mixer two. So we'll throw that up right up here. We will get our nitrogen in there. One, two, and three. Get our beryllium. We got eight pieces of potassium, and then we just need one circuit. Which I know I've got a circuit over here, and I believe it's just the number one circuit. Yep. Number one circuit gets us a total of ten of the ender pearl dust. Let's go check up on our tooling while that's whipping up. So, we got 400 buckets of that. We are going to go ahead and then grab out another big old thing of this again. And double fill it. So where did it go? I left it up. There we go. One and two. Hold on to that so the next time I come over here I can double fill it. Oh, it's really crouching or shifting. So, oh boy. Rain's always a little bit annoying. Let's go ahead and actually get these ender pearls done up in here if we can. So, the other question is do we need a circuit? We do not. So we input our ender pearl dust and our TNT. That is actually pretty cool. Get a little bit of an explosion, and we got six ender pearls. I do think the quest detect. Seriously, we got to do eight of that before we can mark it as complete. So using the four was kind of a, a little mistake, but because of how many more we're going to need, we can complete that. Let's go ahead and put it into view mode, though, and check it. So we do need just one and one, so we're going to have to pull that out. Okay. I didn't know you could trap Endermen in boats. That actually kind of... That's kind of hilarious. It says up in that quest that you can do that. So let's go ahead and get back. Ooh, there we go. We turned. How are we on our tooling? Still, still coming along. We'll be back when that's finished and I got enough for two more crafts of that. So we already need the 12 Ender Eyes. I know that's what they recommend you having. Yeah, and then it'll locate the stronghold for us. Now there is one other thing that they basically said. Making this end crystal, if you place it immediately on spawning, it'll skip the fight, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and look up the end crystal, which requires a gas tier. And to make a gas tier, we need a tiny pile of lithium, a tiny pile of potassium, and some salt water. So let's go ahead and get this whipped up as well. Just because I don't really want to have to fight the Ender Dragon. Like this, this is a Greg Tech series, so we're not here to, you know, fight. We're here to learn how to do Greg Tech. So I might have some lithium piles in here somewhere. Yes, mosaic, close to our... I do not. I don't have any of the potassium dust piles, so... Let's see. None in there. None in there. Nope. Oh, there is a lithium piece in there. 
it's lithium and potassium. Potassium. Yeah, looks like I'm just gonna have to do this. There. That. Put that. Pump that. Now we need salt water, which I believe we just put salt and water in a chemical reactor. Yep. Gonna have to make another hang glider here pretty soon. I don't think there is a way to repair it. Unless we get mending. Which the thing is, as well, I don't think I can directly enchant this. Yeah. So I can't directly enchant the hang glider, so I would have to get the mending book to be able to actually do something with that. Um, we got the dust piles that we need. I just need to grab out some salt. I don't know if I have... I don't think it's in the system here. So let's see. Salt, salt, salt. Nope. It's mica. So it is quartz, salt. One, two. All right. Get on over to the chemical reactor here. We'll do water and salt. Reason it's not working. Not liking the hydrofluoric acid in there. No, that's not it either. Oh, derp. It says in the mixer. Put that back. Uh, put that back too. And the mixer there, and salt. Alright, and then from there, in the chemical reactor, we take our salt butter, do things there, put that back up there again, we got our guest here. So let's go check up on our, well, let's sleep first. Now that we're done sleeping, we can go check on our tooling one more time. I know this is going to be a bit of a longer episode. So we got another full vial of tooling. Just get another one in here. Like that. That. And we will be back once we got that last tooling mixed up together. Last vial here of tooling. We'll make that into the detailed tooling or whatever it's called, however you pronounce that one. I'm not too concerned about pronunciation, more concerned about getting this all done. Get that in there. Get some of our sugar we've been macerating. That did us the last. The gemelled. Gelid. Gelid tooling. Now, mix that with our sulfuric acid. Two more TNT needed to complete the quest processing. Let's go ahead and detect. Done. Ender pearl. Do not detect that we have ender pearls in here. here. Let's try this. There you go. 
that should all be finished. Oh, that's right, it does make five. Sitting here going, oh, that doesn't seem right. That number seems off. Go ahead, grab this out. That should help me finish. This quest gives me a sharpness five book. And then we need to make the Eyes of Ender. Which I'm pretty... Nope. Chemical bath. So... Does that require... A, does require an HP chemical bath. So, that looks like we will do the Eyes of Ender next time. Let's get the rest of these popped on up. You can just hear that explosion as it goes through. That, I honestly think, is pretty cool. And now we're just going to need to whip those up. We're going to need 12... I think it's, I think it is 11 is the number they basically say that you should have for that. And then the next time we're going to get ourselves into the Eyes of Ender and we're going to get ourselves one of these End Crystals just to skip that fight, make it much easier. I already have all the glass I need. I'm just going to have to do the HV, the HV um, Chemical Bath. So uh, thank you guys for watching here. Got ourselves that implosion chamber back there up and running, and we will be on our way to the end and getting some other cool multi-block machines started here in the future. Thank you guys for watching, and have a good day. Bye!